Hey guys, just a quick video today to talk about something that we've had some questions on and we wanted to share with you how to remove log entries that are generated by our system. So let's take a look at how this looks. Uh, if you take a look at Home Audience 1 here, as soon as I click on this button here, logs are going to be generated on the router as we start pulling it for the bandwidth info. And if we take a look at how that looks, uh, you'll see here that we're generating log entries. Hey, user logged in, logged out. And if I wanted to suppress these logs, that's what we're going to cover today. So the log facility, you can open by clicking system and then going to logging. And you'll see here that we've got a couple of items that are available. And if we want to suppress this login that, that continually occurs from our system, you can head here over here into info and we're going to add another topic here that is not account. All right, so now that I've applied the not account, I'm going to head back to my browser. And if I refresh, you'll see that now I'm pulling this bandwidth again. And if we take a look at our router, I no longer have logs that are being popped in here. So one of the things you may be concerned about is whether suppressing this log will result in the inability to understand whether you know invalid accounts are being attempted to log in. And all this does is suppress the log of successful login accounts. So for example, I'm gonna log in now with an invalid user to this router, and you're gonna see that the info comes up and we still see the error message. So as you can see, I have a still error message that shows up when invalid accounts try to log in. So I still know when someone is, is either not using the right username and password, or if I'm being uh, under you know, a, a brute force attack, all that's being suppressed is this uh, user successfully logged in and out messaging. So keep your eyes open as we continue to evolve our software and we're gonna add a button that allows you to just click that and enable for this information to be suppressed in the logs. But for now, uh, if you want to go ahead and, and do this manually until that button exists, all you have to do is again, head into the info, add the not account, and you'll be able to suppress the logs of remote Winbox login and logouts. Thanks guys and have a great day.